Hello, this is Nice Wander, and this is the Now Man Show. And I am here at the Green Festival in downtown Los Angeles with Amanda Owetu. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for being on the Now Man Show. Thank you for having me. Now, I just experienced a great talk that you entitled Thoughts Become Things. You have a great story, and we can talk about that at length at another time. But in, in, in basic conversation, you now call this intrinsic thinking? My program is called Intrinsic Motivation. Mm -hmm. So what does that consist of exactly? Intrinsic Motivation, which was formerly the Amanda Away To Project, I took the me out of it because it's really all about you. Uh, but Intrinsic Motivation was founded with the mission of increasing human capacity for happiness across the globe. And it does this by inspiring freedom of the self, perception as a choice, and the power of thought. So the, you demonstrated how powerful thought really is. I mean, and paying attention to that. I mean, uh, why do you think this is so important? It's incredibly important because the world is not at peace. And what that's telling us is that people, individuals, are not at peace. Everything that we're seeing happening out there in the world, everything that we're seeing on the news is really just a projection or a reflection of what is going on within humanity, in our minds, in our hearts, in our thoughts and feelings and beliefs. And that connects not only to each other, but that connects to the planet, that connects to all living things and, and essentially sustainability of life, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I demonstrate it through, through my talks by um, discussing you know, how something as simple as sitting in rush hour traffic can be incredibly frustrating. And if we take that frustration to the office with us, we're passing that frustrated energy on to our coworkers. Our coworkers are taking it home to their families. And so it can be incredibly toxic for our immediate environments. Uh, and then it, that's all circulated out into the world also. And so the focus really should be on, on paying attention to the synchronicities that are really all around us, right? Yes, I mean, everything, everything is information, vibration, and energy. Every single thing that we do, that we think, that we experience, that is, that is what it is at the basic level. So when I send a text message to a colleague across the country, that information travels, shows up on his phone, um, that's information, vibration, and energy. Or if I send an email, it requires a frequency in the form of an internet connection or a Wi-Fi signal. And that frequency allows us to transmit information. My favorite example though, since we're here at GreenFest and the focus is really on sustainability and how do we love Mother Earth and our environment. Um, you know, we're, we're here exchanging molecules with nature all the time. It, it allows us to breathe and experience anything uh, in life. Um, we often overlook that, but Nature has a beautiful way of honoring information, vibration, and energy. For instance, the earth, as this living organism, has a vibration. And bees and other pollinators attune to that vibration and actually use it to help them navigate while they're fulfilling their purpose of pollination. And so through information, vibration, and energy, bees and other pollinators actually sustain life on this planet. When we cannot marginalize the importance of any of that, and there's, a, it's a, there's a connection. And making that connection not only to living things like that, but to each other, it's, it's extraordinarily important. And it's something that we need to be acknowledging constantly and in the present moment, always, which is my mission as now man. Mm. Um, and the, you were talking about synchronicity of uh, just this morning. Uh, I, I always get these periscope things from Deepak Chopra. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> isn't it, isn't it, it is beautiful, isn't it? 
And and it's interesting too the, the the synchronicities of like just recently I interviewed somebody who is is going getting ready to go back actually to Limpopo province to work on a film oh, wow. about the vervet monkeys. Are you familiar with that? The vervet monkeys. Mm -hmm. And again, there's a, a, a whole synchronicity and, and connection there too because those animals, just like the bees, have a relevance to the economy and to the ecology of the area. So it's you know it, it makes one aware of something that you wouldn't even think about you know what I mean just by paying attention so it, it was fantastic talking to you thank you for being on the now man show and uh, what are some uh, websites that uh, that we can uh, look into and learn more about you and what what's going on with the power of thought and intrinsic motivation Okay, so Intrinsic Motivation is just, the website is just intrinsicmotivation.co and from there you can read my blog. Um, I also have a brand new podcast project. Um, it is called Tap In and um, that is at Tap In, it's T-A-A-P-N.com. And TAP is part of, um, it's something that I use in my, in my processes, in my leadership and mentor and coaching programs. And it just stands for Truth and Authenticity Amplify Power. Thank you very much, Amanda. Away to. Mm -hmm. and this is Nice Wonder, and you're watching The Now Man Show. I'm here at the Green Fest with filmmaker and engineer Antonio Salion. Thank you for being on the Now Man Show. I'm very happy to be here. And now you were talking earlier about in, in your talk that you just finished about sustainability and the basically the green economy in the entertainment industry. Yes. Maybe you can explain in more detail what that exactly consists of because most people wouldn't know. Well, it, it's basically, if, if you look at, if you take it this way, um, when people want to make their homes sustainable or a building sustainable, uh, it's, it's basically uh, going green, you know. Um, what does that mean? Saving energy, saving the environment. Uh, a lot of people, they don't realize the things that they're doing that's wasteful. Recycling. But recycling is not just uh, plastic bottles. It's, it goes further than that. Uh, it could be the clothes you're wearing, catering the food uh, on the set. What happens to the leftover food uh, at the end of the day? Are you uh, donating it to the homeless? Uh, that's sustainable. Uh, what kind of cars you're using to pick up the actors in? Uh, are they electric, hybrid? Uh, what type of lighting the DPs are using now? Um, because in the old days, they weren't energy efficient. Uh, but like I said on, on my speech, a lot of people are not into change. So a lot of DPs say, well, the, the new quality and new technology may not work, but it does work because that was in film. Now we're in digital. So we do amazing things when it comes to editing and then when it comes to lighting. So you can shoot it, you know, uh, with energy efficient lighting and it just takes time you know people organize themselves but like I always said in my speech before it's about budget you know a lot of people do not have the money to hire extra help on the set to do this so uh, what we do is we're teaching the young generation of filmmakers when they graduate whether you're a writer whether you're uh, a director a producer uh, it could be anything dress you know, hair, hair and dressing, to know all the in and outs of being sustainable when it comes to film and television and on the set. Is that Healing Seekers you're talking about? Healing Seekers is a wonderful um, um, a woman that I met, Amy Greenster, which she's just amazing. Green Seekers, what she does, she explores the world. She goes to these places that you and I won't go to, you know, and meets these tribes where you need a guide to to confront them because it's very dangerous 
they don't know what a camera is. They don't know, <laughs> you know, they see who, who are these people, you know, you got to be very careful. So her thing is, is to find a cure for different diseases in the world because when they get sick, they use natural herbs to cure. So it's a no-brainer for what she's doing. So technically what she's doing is she's risking her life. She really is uh, going to these places, but uh, she connects with them. Almost like a horse whisperer, yeah, yeah, but with the tribe. Just amazing. So I became a co-producer with her and I, I learned so much from her. And uh, to her, it's more than being sustainable. She agrees with me. It's about finding something to, to cure the world of all diseases and, uh, and so we can live longer. The environment, the earth, beautiful. That's fantastic. Let's talk for a moment about Rocket Green. What is that all about? Rocket Green, I, I'm starting, I, I, what I want to do is I want to do a, a web television series. Uh, a lot of people don't realize in Central Park, <laughs> facing, facing the baseball field, there's a rock sitting there that's like 50 million years old. Wow, really? Yeah, it, it, it's just... I've been to Central Park, but I don't recall you, seeing you, that. Maybe, well, I went to the, the Strawberry Fields part, it's on west. The other, it's on, a, like, if you walk towards Columbus Circle that, that way, it's towards that way of, of New York. Yeah, it's, it's right next to the park, the, the kids' park, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's just amazing how old that rock is. But a lot of the, the rocks are, so I call it the most sustainable rock in the world. <laughs> so how great would it be to interview celebrities or energy people or whoever uh, about film and television on top of that rock. And you see, what I want to do is they talk about uh, their lives and then they talk about the film they're doing, how sustainable it is for them to work on that film and give you the reasons why. Right Excellent. There. I think it would help not just the celebrity or the filmmaker, but the world, because they see it's really happening, it's true, and here's the celebrity being um, interviewed. And they are in that situation where they're technically role models, so yes. that's a that's a big thing to see on film yes. or on the internet or, or whatever. Like you know what Leonardo DiCaprio is doing and Robert Redford and, and, and the Pope even the Pope. Is, is setting an example. Yeah, that's why I in the Congress, right? Well, I keep telling people, you know, when President Obama speaks, you know, I, I love him, you know, when he talks about climate change because it is an issue. But I think people, they look at him in politics. Let's stop. Let's not listen. You should listen. But when the Pope spoke about climate change, people stopped and listened because the Pope to me is like the president of the world. Okay? And when he, he speaks from the heart, and very important, and I, 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 I truly believe this, that I think a lot of people are now going to be followers when it comes to climate change because of the views the Pope has towards the environment. So, so do you see a lot of celebrities uh, who are in, and influential people who are interested in being a part of this film project? I believe so, yeah. Um, I just started launching it, and I'm working with an attorney and uh, who's a really good friend of mine who's actually going to be involved in it. And um, I think between both of us, yes, there's going to be a lot of people. What, he, here's the question for you. Why wouldn't they do it? I totally agree. We're, we're at that point where we're, we don't know when the tipping point is, and we need to do this now. Yes. So, I, I, you know, everybody has their own opinion. Uh, what I'm trying to do is, I'm in New York City. If a film is being premiered in New York City, you contact the PR people and you get them before they hit the premiere. And I think they'll do it because it just promotes the film in a positive way. So being sustainable, I think, would hit that arena. So uh, in closing, uh, thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. Uh, any way that, that we can help here in LA, let us know. Sure. Um, Here's one thing. I'm about to develop a, a, a festival, a film festival called Planet Green Fest. So if you go to www.planetgreenfest.org, what it's about is what I'm trying to do is not, it, it, the film is a short film under 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be about, uh, you know, climate change or, or sustainable, the, the topic, the theme. What I want it to be, I want it to be filmed sustainable 
on and off the set, meaning behind and in front of the camera. That's perfect. Yeah, that's fantastic. So in, in closing, anything else that you would like to add that we didn't mention? Maybe give a website that you want people to look at? Well, my company website is uh, angellightgroup.com. So you could ask me any question. I am the one that responds, nobody else, just me. So I will review it and I would answer any question you would like. And thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you very much. Antonio Salian of uh, uh, Angel Light Pictures. Excellent. And this is a nice wonder. We're at the Green Fest on the Now Man Show. Hello, this is Nice Wander, and I am here at the Green Fest with Karina Bassler, who is the president of Green Festivals, Inc. She's a, a former strategic consultant to global sustainable economic businesses. Hello, Karina. Thank you for being on the Now Man Show. No, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now, you are the president of this whole organization, right? There are five festivals right now? Yes, absolutely. We do start every year in New York City and then Washington DC. Those are our two spring shows and in the fall we come here to Los Angeles and then we go to San Francisco and for the first time we go to Portland. Oh, this is the first year for Portland this year? Yes. So this is the fifth year, right, that you've had this festival? This is in 2015? Um, this is the fifth year here in Los Angeles, and we're really happy to always come to LA. It's such a wonderful market. The community really cares so much. But in total, this is the 14th year in a row we're having the Green Fest Festival. Wow, when was the first one and where? The first one was 14 years ago in San Francisco. That's where everything started and was founded by Global Exchange and Green America. Awesome, that's fantastic. Well, what, what are you most passionate about in, in the, the green environmental movement? Yes, I believe nowadays it's so easy to make a difference and I believe every morning you have the power to make a decision what to put on your plate. It's very easy. And personally, um, I live a plant-based diet. Um, I care very much about the environment and about animals and I believe they should be protected. And with being here at the Green Festival, we have so many exhibitors, partners, sponsors with amazing green products. And also, they're so tasty and, and fun to enjoy. So nowadays, it's so easy to make a difference. And what do you see moving forward for the festival? Are you expanding it to other cities? Yes, we're definitely looking into other cities to try to engage more communities. To, we also try to go more mainstream. We believe this is always the best way to make a bigger difference because people who are already green and living a plant-based diet, they, they know what they can do to protect the um, environment. But we believe trying to engage everyone nowadays to try to protect our resources, um, that's a wonderful way um, to help us. It's, it's, it's a excellent way to have an educational platform and then also a business platform so that people can see that this can be part of their everyday life in every way possible. Absolutely. Um, exactly as you say, it's wonderful for consumers, for attendees to see that it's so easy to make the right decision and it doesn't have to be um, tasteless or very expensive. Contrary, you know, you can you can buy here pretty affordable brands and products and um, enjoy and still have fun and enjoy the taste. Um, and also for consumers, we believe this is a great platform where they can start to showcase their green line and that they see there's a big demand here. There's, um, there's a big crowd who really would like to buy such product and waiting for it. And we also engage buyers. We have Whole Foods as a buyer here on board. Um, and that also clearly shows that um, this is the right way for the future. Well, it's, it's a market that has yet to really be tapped, too, as far as that goes. And to raise the awareness, it, it will literally change the world. Absolutely. I always say it's not just a trend anymore. Oh, let's be green. Um, no, this is a future, and there's no way to go back. This is a one-way road we're here, and um, you should not delay our future to the next generation. We have to make the difference to make sure that we have a second and a third generation to come. And beyond that. Yes, absolutely, of course. Now, I noticed that you also are bilingual. Uh, do you see the Green Festivals expanding into Europe and other parts of the world as well? 
Absolutely, it's actually a very good question. We are partnering with Messe Stuttgart, it's one of the European leaders um, putting sustainable events together. We do have a big show in Germany in Stuttgart. Um, it's called um, the, the Spring Festival, the Spring Show, and we have over 100,000 attendees. Wow, yes. in the spring? Absolutely, it's happening in the spring, and um, it's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, so <laughs> yes, there is there is definitely a market out there, and we also would like to take this concept to other countries because we believe there is no limitation in doing good for the planet. That's fantastic. I, I'm so happy to hear that that it's actually going to expand into other parts of the world as well. This is exciting because we, we have to be more connected to one another. This is another really important part of this. Not only the educational process, but we need to connect as human beings. Yes, absolutely. That's why here at the show we have so many different components. So it's not just about food and sampling. We do have home and garden, um, body and health. We are partnering with local shelters. We have uh, miniature horses rescued from a slaughterhouse. We have dogs. You can basically come and make new friends here and rescue a, a pet. Um, we're also having the Green Festival Community Award where we're giving away $5,000 to a deserving local nonprofit doing good and giving back to the community. So this is really a comprehensive um, very diverse platform here and again we believe everyone is welcome and everyone should make a difference in a fun and in a positive way um, because this is inspiring and um, you can come and bring your family bring your neighborhood and I always say bring everyone you don't know I agree and, and, and I understand now why you are the president you're very inspiring just what you said just now is great thank you. Karina thank you very much for being on the now man show this is Nice Wander, and we're here at the Green Fest. So, may I try some cheese? Yeah, please. We have almond cheese. Okay. And we have rice cheese. So, basically, this is a base of almond and a base of rice. It's not a pure vegan product. It's something for people who are transitioning out of dairy. So it does have a milk protein in it called casein. But what that does is it gives it the consistency of dairy cheese that people are used to and love. And it also enables it to be meltable. So you can use it in the quesadilla and the lasagna. So you can cook with it. And people really love that because non uh, total vegan cheeses, you can't always do that. So try it. Sure. I'd like to try almond. Let's see. Thing. It's good. You like it? Yeah. You want to try the rice? Sure. This is the rice cheddar. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me about this one? Well, this is the same as I was saying before. This is the base of rice, and that one was the almond. Did you have a preference? I think I prefer the almond. You like the almond? Yes. Yeah. But the, the rice was good too. Yeah, and then there's all these different flavors garlic and herb, jalapeno, mm. cheddar. I'll mozzarella. try garlic and herb. Go for it. So what are some of the health benefits of this? Okay, so basically, people are transitioning away from dairy for many reasons. Some people are allergic to dairy. Some people don't believe in dairy because for ethical reasons with animals. And some people just don't like the way they feel around dairy, like they're lactose intolerant, for example. So this cheese actually has no gluten, no GMOs, which is genetically modified organisms, and no lactose. It even has no sugar. So it really is a, a cheese that's, that's accessible to a lot of people with different health issues. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, this is Nice Wander, and you're watching The Now Man Show. And I'm here at the Green Fest with actor Andrew Keegan. Andrew, thank you for being on The Now Man Show. Thank you for that introduction. It's now. Let's do this. Yes. And Andrew is now an entrepreneur, and he's also the founder of Full Circle in Venice. Tell us what Full Circle is about. That's a great, uh, great question. A loaded answer, but we'll keep it really simple. <laughs> yeah. It's an open source spiritual community center, and we focus on you know community initiatives and really what ways we can accelerate the agenda, and really just providing a very sacred space for other events in our community, within our community. So you do. It's my understanding you do yoga, you do meditation, and you have self development kinds of things that you do as well that are kind of unique. And you're, it's a work in progress. Well. It, it really is that unique design in the sense that, yeah, there's a great a great focus on educational. You know, we like to call them why shops. Why, why do you why do you do them? It's in an effort to evolve and you know move along 
what what the agenda is, which is really solutions. There's obviously a lot of music events. There's you know meditation events, which are really important for that as well. We want people to get you know into their center and really be uh, as as grounded as possible. And it's also about connecting with others, right? Bringing people together and connecting like-mindedness. Because I mean, we don't have a lot of time. We're we're facing a lot of crises in the world now, individually as well as a, as a whole. And we have to do something, so that is, is that another mission of the Full Circle? I think that's fair to say that that's a big part of the mission, is that we really want to you know, continue to bring the like-minded people together. I think that's the actual definition of, of, of church. We, uh, we refer to it as a temple, but ultimately it's, it's a community space. I mean, really, that's what we're providing. And when we say sacred, it's really important to us that it's curated in that way so that there is a consistency with not only the programming, but with the networking and the people. And we've really done and the team at Full Circle has done extremely well it's a it's gone you know it's just gone through the roof and 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 the pretty much really booked up so if, if you are interested in doing something with us please reach out we look forward to it it's like the green fest you know the whole purpose of of this is community build community connect one another make people aware educate each other uh, if someone wants to find out more about Full Circle how can they get that information um, we are at fullcirclevenice.org, so it's a really great website with all the uh, calendar information and um, up upcoming events, of course, on the calendar. There's a few other things on the website that help you kind of get signed up. If you want to jump on uh, the newsletter, that's really great. Then you can kind of keep up with what's going on. So, so there's an, an email can be sent, and then you can get on, a, on an email list and see what regularly is going on there. That's fantastic. So thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you for being on The Now Man Show. Wonderful. We'll see you at Full Circle. <laughs> Well, that wraps up our festivities here, spending the entire weekend at the Green Festival in downtown Los Angeles. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next year, and until the next moment, this is Nice Wander. Be present now. This is an electrical bike, actually. Uh, it looks like a regular bike, and, and you pedal it like you ordinarily would. It has brakes here, like you ordinarily would brake with, except the more you pedal, the faster it goes. So it actually has an electrical, I guess, motor in it, and it can go up to 28 miles an hour. How cool is that? I'll, I'll take another uh, ride around here, and I'll show you. Very honored to be able to speak to the independent senator from Vermont, running as a Democrat for President of the United States, Bernard Sanders. Bernie, so glad to see you. How are you? 